Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Deanna and today I'm going to be doing my May wrap up. So I'm not going to lie, I do think this wrap up is going to be very quick because I only have five books in my hand and four of those five books I've already mentioned on this channel. So I may or may not just make this a really, really fast wrap up. To start the month off, I did read We All Looked Up by Tommy Wallach and I have already done a review on it. Link will be down in the description. You can go check that out once you've done viewing this video. But yeah, this book is about a group of high school students that aren't friends who find out their world is going to end in like two months or two weeks or something. And then they slowly come together and they want to do something great before the world ends. And that's basically it. You know, stuff happens, people die, but that's just, that's basically the story. At the end of my review video, I did do a TBR jar lucky dip thing where I pulled out a new TBR category and that category was read a book at the bottom of your TBR pile and I took that quite literally. I did have a pile of books on the floor next to me when I was filming so I kind of just chose a pile and chose the bottom book and that was Shadows by Amy Meredith. I don't really have much to say about this book. I did quite enjoy it but it is very Twilight-esque. There's a love triangle, there's evil and good and that girl has special powers and she doesn't know what they are and that's basically every this genre novel ever. There is one part in this novel that really bothered me just because the main character had a special power and she went to her friend about it and her friend just went you have poltergeists and then the main character's gone yes that's it and I wouldn't have been so yeah, that's it. I would have been, oh really, poltergeist? Mm, I don't know. But that's just me. But yeah, <laughs> but yeah, this is the first novel of the Dark Touch series and I am going to be buying the rest of the series because I do want to know what happens. But yeah, if you're interested, it is Shadows by Amy Meredith. The other three books I have, I did read for Ribsat and I did a little video on that before as well. And the first book I read was Isla and the Happily Ever After. This is actually the last companion novel along with Anna and the French Kiss and Lola and the Boy Next Door by Stephanie Perkins. And I absolutely love these novels. And I do like the fact that she carried the main characters from the first novel into the second one and those characters into this one. And I actually didn't realise, but the love interest in this book was a character in the first one. But yeah, I absolutely love these books. I love Stephanie Perkins' writing and I kind of want her to write more so I can read her books for the rest of my life. Next book I read for Ribsat was Me and Earl and the Dying Girl and I'm not gonna lie, I was kind of disappointed. So I've seen a bunch of people review or wrap up with this book and they kind of said that it was really funny. I could see where they were coming from but the humour in this was just very family guy humour. What I mean by family guy humour is that they do a joke and then they draw it out until it's not funny anymore. And that's what this book did. So if you don't know what this book is about, it's about a guy called Greg who's friends, or not really friends, co-workers with a guy called Earl and they make parody movies together. Long story short, Greg's mum actually makes him become friends with his old friend Rachel who is dying of leukemia and then Earl decides to come along as well. And I think, in my opinion, Earl and Rachel became better friends than Greg and Rachel. But the whole movie thing, Greg and Earl didn't really want anyone else to see them except, you know, Earl decided Rachel should be able to see them because she's dying and he just wants to make her happy and make her the rest of her life worthwhile. But then Greg being the annoying character he is, he got all selfish and was just like, no, I'm not going to show her that. It's just like let her watch it man. But in the end she ended up loving the films and so something got out to one of her friends and her friend told the guys to make a movie for her and then stuff happens and I'll just leave it at that. And last but not least I have got my final book that I've read this month. I actually read half of this during Ribsat and half yesterday just because I was in a massive slump. But yeah, the final book I have is Warm Bodies by Isaac Marion. I actually saw this movie when it came out in the cinemas and I thought it was a great movie. I loved it. And now that I've read the book, I still love the movie and I love the book and I can tell the differences and all that kind of stuff, but I still like both exactly the same as I thought I would. So I'm not gonna complain. If you don't know what Warm Bodies is about, it's basically a story from the point of view of a zombie. He doesn't think like a zombie, he thinks like a normal human being, but it just doesn't project outside of his brain. 
and he suddenly meets a girl, takes her back to wherever he lives, and starts becoming human again. Obviously this is really dangerous if you're going to take a human girl into a nest of zombies, they will want to eat her, and so that does happen a couple of times, and then stuff happens, and then he goes to her home, and they have to hide his zombie nest, and then he basically starts becoming human again. And that's not spoiling it because that was in the Warm Bodies trailer and if you haven't seen the trailer or known about this book, I'm sorry, but that's basically what it is. Those are the books I have read for the half of May I started doing these videos. And now that I've finished my TBRs for this month because I didn't want to do another TBR jar thing during rib sacks, I thought that would be too much pressure. I am going to do another one. And the category I got was do, 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 by an author you've never read before. So I'm actually kind of excited because a lot of the TBRs I have in my pile I have never read before so I've got a lot of options. Anyway, thank you for watching this video. Hopefully my next wrap up will have more books to talk about but obviously you know I'll have a whole month next time. So thanks again for watching this video. I hope you have a good day and I'll catch you next time. Bye!